In today's video, how I went from looking like this to looking like this using my treadmill, and I'm gonna explain the exact settings you should be using to lose body fat. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Paul Ravella from ProPhysique.com, and I'm coming to you live from my treadmill. I'm gonna show you my exact settings that I use on my treadmill throughout my cardio session to lose body fat. I also wanna remind you guys that on the video that I lasted about supplements, we are giving away some supplements. Now I'm going to be announcing those winners on Wednesday. So you still have time to go to that video, leave a comment and be eligible for the three people that are gonna get every single product that I mentioned in the video. All right guys, so here I am on my treadmill and I'm gonna have you guys be able to see exactly what I'm doing so you get this view as well. But what I typically start out on the treadmill is I get up first thing in the morning. So my body's not really awake. So I like to start at a low incline of three and a speed of two. And I'll do this for about three to five minutes until I feel my body start to warm up a little bit. Once my body gets a little bit warmed up and I can feel myself wanting to push myself a little bit more, I will increase the speed up to a level three. So this gets my feet moving faster, but I have not picked up the incline at all. It also shows that I'm now burning about 400 calories an hour. Now, is that important? Well, I do use it as a measurement, a way to track how much calories I'm burning throughout the session but I just use it to compare session to session. I don't actually say, oh, I burned 400 calories. I'm gonna eat 400 calories extra, no. And I'll actually get to the end of the session to where I'm burning 500 calories per hour on my machine. For me, the real magic happens when your body temperature increases and you can feel yourself start to get a little bit warm, maybe even break a light sweat depending on your environment. Now I'm here in my office, the conditions are always perfect. I have a TV right in front of me, so I'm just enjoying the walk and I can feel myself starting to get a little bit deeper in breath. It's too early in the session for me to be warm yet, but by the end, I will definitely be breaking a sweat and I'm gonna show you guys that. Now, the reason I have come to this conclusion about walking is because years ago, 2018, the last time I did a bodybuilding competition, I wanted to try something different. I got rid of all high intensity cardio. I only did walking. The results for me were pretty astounding because I found that my hunger was much lower I also found that my fatigue was much lower, so my gym sessions were better. So I was able to train harder in the gym, have less hunger. And what does that allow you to do? It allows you to get leaner than you've ever gotten. It allows you to keep more muscle, and it also helps with the rebound, okay? Coming out of the diet was not as much of a problem as it's ever been for me, which is a big part of fat loss. A study out of BYU in 2010 actually took individuals and had them walk briskly for 60 minutes and compared that to a control group that did not walk, and they wanted to compare appetite over the group. What they found was there was no difference in appetite, meaning the individuals that were walking briskly had no more hunger than the group that did nothing, effectively creating a calorie deficit. Now, what is actually burning body fat on a treadmill as we move? Well, we are burning energy, burning calories, burning body fat, low intensity steady state cardio, or what we're doing here, is using body fat as fuel. Why is that? Because our bodies use different fuel sources for different intensities. The lower the intensity, the more body fat is used. The higher the intensity, the more carbohydrates are used, okay? Now, does that really matter when it comes to fat loss? No, but it is very comforting to me to know that the form of cardio that I prefer to do burns body fat preferentially, also helps me keep my hunger in check, and I enjoy it. I get up, I come in here and I do it. I have a treadmill in my house. If I can't do that, I go for a walk outside. But weather permitting, you can't always do that. Make the process easy on yourself and you will be more consistent. Okay, now let's get to the next setting change. All right guys, so I just got done with my treadmill session for 30 minutes and the reason I wanted to show you guys because a lot of people were asking me what my settings were for my cardio session. I like it to be challenging. I like to get off and have a little bit of a sweat. I have a little bit of a glisten. I usually either will go shower after. Now, the real reason I like doing my cardio first thing in the morning is because what really creates a caloric deficit is the 24 hour energy balance that we create by doing cardio. I've dipped into my energy, right? I've burned some calories. However, if I now go out and eat a bunch of crap food and overeat the amount of calories that I burned, well, guess what? This will not have been an effective session for fat loss. However, what I find is that my days are busy. Kids, business, all the things that get in my way. If I wait to do my cardio session late in the day, the priority is very low. However, once I've done my cardio session first thing in the morning before the day gets going, it's already done 
and then I don't want to waste it by eating a bunch of crap food. I don't want to think, wow, why did I get up so early to do cardio only to eat a bunch of crap all day? So if you guys have no idea where to start with your diet, if you go to prophysique.com, I have a free health calculator. You can plug in all your information. It'll give you some ideas around calories, around meal planning, and how to set up a successful approach to nutrition. We're also on the last day of registration for our 90-day transformation challenge where we're going to give you individualized nutrition plans, individualized training plans, a support group, and if you place, we're giving away $50,000 cash. It's open worldwide to all age groups. In fact, both of our winners last year were over the age of 50. So guys, join our 90 day transformation challenge. And these are the settings that I use for my treadmill. Now I am also on the path currently of training abs every day and tracking my calories every day. I'm going to be making videos around that. If you guys would like to see a full day of eating, comment below full day of eating and I'll do that for you. And don't forget to go check out our free supplement video from Friday if you guys would like to win some supplements. Most of all guys, just have a great start to your week. Hopefully this information helps you on your journey and I'll talk to you tomorrow.